Hello everyone, your CPSE teachers and, and I continue to discuss to see what will be uh, the things that are most helpful to you. And one thing that we have decided to do is to provide some instructions on assistive technology. Now, for those of you who are in the severe track, uh, severe disability track, uh, you, you already have a class in assistive technology, and so you may be a little more ahead in this area. For, but for those uh, of you who are in mild and moderate, you probably have not had uh, any instruction in this area yet, and so uh, providing some instructions to you will probably be helpful. And for those of you who are in the severe track, I will ask you to be patient. And, and if you already feel that you know you are very familiar with the tools that we are introducing in this unit, um, uh, well, see if you can um, uh, uh, get, get a deeper understanding of it and see if you can use it more, uh, more uh, proficiently. Okay? And um, now, in the beginning, I have a video that shows you some of the possibilities on how uh, computer technologies can be helpful for people who have disabilities. Um, and then, uh, uh, what I want you to do is to review the uh, assistive technologies uh, that are available in either Mac or Windows. Okay, and these are features that are already come with the com computer. Uh, you, you don't need to purchase anything, you don't need to um, install anything, they are already there. You just need to know where to find them. Okay, for the ones that are in a Mac, uh, the features are divided into several uh, four areas. Okay, the literacy and learning, vision, hearing. Uh, physical and motor skills. Okay, so uh, I want you to go uh, go in and re review them, and they are all on this just one page. Okay, uh, and the big idea is that we are not requiring you to be uh, uh, like uh, experts in these areas, but we want you to know at least what are some of the features that are available to our students with disabilities. Okay, and in um, it, it, this page, there are also several tutorials that are created by Apple. So they are very professionally done, and so you can go in and see what these features are. Okay, and uh, for those of you who are using Windows, when you click on this link, uh, you have several choices. And what I want you to do is to choose the the operating, you know, the demo sites uh, based on your own operating systems. So if you are like me, you know, who have an old Windows, and you can click on Windows XP. If you have the the, the newest one, the, the Windows 8 actually offers a lot more uh, accessibility features uh, than the older Windows, and and each one of them have a short video that demonstrates how to use it. And uh, they also have a link called Microsoft Office 2010. When you click on it, you'll find that Office 2010 actually has a number of features that help you create documents that are um, actually accessibility, com accessibility compliant. And so when you create uh, this document, it will tell you if there's any issue relating to accessibility in, in that documents that you have created. It has a demonstration in Word, a demonstration in Excel, a demonstration in PowerPoint. And um, what, what I want you to do is to just choose one of these uh, tutorials and, and uh, one, uh, find one area that you are interested in and, and watch it. Okay? And then, when you are done, um, I have two uh, two case studies uh, that uh, the uh, uh, Professor Abraham has created for you. Uh, one relates to uh, mental retardation, and then another one relates to autism. And so uh, you, you you should look at these two uh, the case studies, and then you can come into this uh, assistive technology plan and make a plan for either one of these two cases. Okay. And um, this document, uh, I have posted in uh, Google Doc, and so you can copy it and paste it into your own Google Doc, or paste it directly in your website. But you should have this plan that states the student's name and uh, pro provide a description of the student's skills. You can actually um, also link this the, one of these two cases in your websites too, and so the people who come to your websites can have a, a good understanding of which case you are referring to. Okay, but still here in the plan, provide a description, 
and uh, area of concerns and pro uh, based on the the assistive technologies the features that you have reviewed provide some solutions and, and in each one of the solutions uh, provide a description and the directions and then at the end you know, provide some comments and, and, and pro uh, provide the, the date of this review okay and that will be your assignment okay and uh, so I have just repeat the same thing that I've just just talked about uh, just now and so uh, we want you to ha have this experience in exploring the different features, um, assistive technology uh, features that are provided in either Mac or Windows. And also, you know, if you are interested, uh, of course, we want you to and welcome you to uh, also review uh, the, the, the features that are uh, the, uh, in, in the other operating systems too. So if you are using Windows, you are also welcome to review the features in the Mac. And if you are using the Mac, you can also re review the features uh, in, in Windows, although this is not requirement, but we, we love that uh, if, if you do that. Okay?